Hi guys, this is Sixty from Anavara.net and in this tutorial I'll be showing you a cool way to add a moonlight kind of effect to your photos. So essentially we'll be turning a daytime image into a nighttime look that has a moon and um, looks mystical. So as you can see I've picked a desert image which is kind of exotic and it has a little bit of clouds. So why don't we get started? First. First off, I'm going to desaturate this image a little because it has too many reds in it, too many colors for a nighttime effect. So we'll just go layer, new adjustment layer, and hue saturation, and we'll turn the saturation down by 50. It depends on how many saturate, what's the saturation level on your image. So yeah, but I uh, set mine on 50. Now we need to place in a moon. So I picked a half moon from this. These are all stocks from DeviantArt, and I'll just drag that into my image, and then I'll set the blending mode of this layer to screen, and we'll just transform it so that it's in a nice composition that works with your image. Okay, and now we need to darken up the sky a little. So we're just gonna select the background layer and use the magic wand to just select the sky. And I'll put my magic wand tolerance on 50. And um, yeah, once you selected that, go to layer, new adjustment layer, and exposure. And we'll just turn the exposure down. Like that, and it's creating a nice nighttime look. But because of the magic wand selection you made, as you can see, the selections, the selections edges are really sharp. So what you need to do is go into the layer mask of the of the exposure layer and start painting on, start painting white on the adjustment layer with a soft brush on the edges. And make sure that the opacity isn't set too high. I'll put mine on 50. And just brush out any areas that are too light. So don't worry about the other bits. Just mainly around the edges. You need to brush that out. And okay. Now what we need to do is create a new gradient map with the blue hues in it. So let's go to layer new adjustment layer and gradient map go OK what we need is a black to white gradient with blue central hues in the middle so I've created this beforehand but as you can see it's a black to a navy blue in the middle and put a little light blue in there just before the white highlights and we'll click OK and we need to set this gradient map or multiply. Now obviously this is too dark so what we need to do is um, create a curves adjustment layer to correct this problem and we'll go to layer, new adjustment layer and curves click OK and we'll need to just bring this top right corner of the curves to the left so that the histogram is more tight. It depends on your histogram, but mine is mine ends around there in the bottom. So you'll need to, you know, just squish it so that it um fits the histogram better, like that. And click OK. So now there's one more thing we can do to add a mystical kind of touch to your effect. Uh so let's create a new layer and we'll set this layer blending mode to overlay and we'll get a soft white brush and we'll just brush on any areas that could have lighting accentuated so we'll just brush this desert like so and as you can see it's getting more pronounced 
so that it looks like a HDR kind of dynamic lighting range kind of image. So just play around with it and hopefully you'll get something nice. And don't forget that you can add stars, stars to your image. Now one of the ways to use an image like this after you've finished it is um, sell a product. So for example, you know you want to associate feelings of exoticness with stuff like perfumes. So just an example, I've cut out a perfume bottle and what you can do is just um, drag the perfume bottle into your image and just you know scale it down a little and basically you can use a manipulation like this to sell your product and of course you need to blend this in you need to add shadows etc to it and it'll be good if you drag this down below the gradient map layers below the adjustment layers so that it fits the composition and you might need to level this a bit so that it's not too contrasty so control L to level and you need to adjust the output level of this so just move the blacks blacks output level down a bit and maybe the white output level down as well and that will help it blend into all that adjustment layers you just did and of course you need to add shadows or you know but yeah that's one of the ways you can use a manipulation like this so I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial this is Sixie from another.net and until then take care of yourself